Alright guys, I'm gonna say something pretty controversial here. Alright, alright, alright. Get ready for it, get ready for it. Mouse and keyboard on console on any game that does not have mouse and keyboard support is cheating. I know, I know, I just groundbreaking news, right? So for those of you who sit here and use Zim, be it on any game, be it Overwatch, be it R6, be it whatever, okay? You can sit here and you can play M and K, I don't care, I can still kick your ass. You can be an M and K player, but you cannot sit here and say that it's not cheating. It is cheating. 110% it is cheating. It is against the terms of service and it is against the rules. And if it wasn't, why do you need a special adapter to be able to play mouse and keyboard on console? That question right there sinks your entire argument about it not being cheating. If it was not cheating, why do you need an adapter? Hmm? Same thing goes for you script kiddies who use a Cronus Zen as well. Same thing goes for you kids too. Don't think we're leaving you out either. You're still a cheating degenerate loser. But, <clears throat> this hit me the other night when I got off work. I I got off work, I came home, played a few games of Overwatch with my buddy. This was quick play, mind you. And we're playing against some top 500 Zim player. We're on console, we're on Xbox, we're playing against a mouse and keyboard cheating Widowmaker in casual, when we're just trying to have fun. Like, I had just got home from work, I'm trying to relax, I'm fucking tired, you know? And, boom. Mouse and keyboard cheating Widowmaker. As soon... <clears throat> I don't say as soon as I got on. I think it was the third game, and I left halfway through and got off and went to bed. Because I simply did not feel like putting up with that. And I mean, can you blame me? You know, unlike half of these losers who use a mouse and keyboard adapter, I actually have a job, you know, I actually go and work for my money. So, I don't sit here and have all day to practice how to use the same adapter on console and not get banned and all this bullshit. I ain't got time for that, because I have a job. Right? I have a job. I don't even have time to do YouTube half the time. Hell, look at my Twitch. I ain't been streaming very much either. Even though I said I was making my comeback, I ain't been able to stream very much either because of how tired I've been. So, you know, I actually have a job, unlike half of these losers. So, you know, what gives? What is the point in cheating in casual? I will never understand. Take Paladins, for instance. Paladins is a game where even in ranked, even in ranked, console can play against PC. Paladins has mouse and keyboard support. Using a Zim adapter, you don't have to use a Zim. You don't have to use a Zim adapter in Paladins. That's not cheating. There's mouse and keyboard support. That's not cheating, right? You can play mouse and key in Paladins, but in a game, uh, let's say Rainbow Six, there's no mouse and key support on console for R6. Using a Zim adapter is cheating. Using a Cronus Zen to get zero recoil is cheating. It is 100% cheating, and you are a loser if you defend that. Because, you know, and you know why I say this? There are much better players than me on R6. I mean, granted, I done quit R6. But there are many better players than me. But I'm not half bad myself. I can control recoil pretty well. It took, uh, it took a lot of practice. But guess what? I can get most of the guns pretty well. Why is it fair that you sit here and use a cheating device to get an unfair advantage against people who actually put in the time and the effort to get good at something? Because unlike you, right, unlike the mouse and keyboard cheating loser here, we actually have some form of talent. You know, most people who don't cheat we don't cheat because either A, we don't uh, we don't believe in cheating, we believe in playing fair, playing by the rules. Either that, or we simply don't feel like spending so much time to set up a cheating device. Why do you guys spend so much money and so much time to set up a cheating device, you know? Uh, on PC, right, on a lot of games on PC, you can find free mod menus that work. Hell, I've seen it for Paladins. There's... 
there are free mod menus on Paladins that work. I don't endorse using it, I'm not gonna name drop it. But there's free mod menus for Paladins, dude. Why spend so much money on these cheating devices when most of these people also have a PC? If you're gonna cheat, you can just cheat on PC. Because chances are, unless you're cheating in like Valorant or something, you're probably not gonna get banned. It is so exceptionally rare for cheaters to get banned on R6. I don't understand why you take all this time and all these precautions to make sure you don't get banned. Because you know they're not going to ban you anyway for cheating. So what's the point in trying to hide it? What's the point in denying it? You know, even when you have it in your username, even when you have it in your Ubisoft profile name, they still won't ban you. I just, I don't get it. I don't get where some of y'all's heads are. Sitting here, advertising your cheating device, thinking you're cool, thinking that makes anybody like you. I mean, like, hey, retired, uh, retired R6 Paladins player here, right? Retired from both of those games. I will tell you, both of those games, nobody likes a cheater. Nobody. Not even your teammates like cheaters. The amount of times on R6, me and some randoms have team killed people just for having mouse and keyboard adapters is astonishing. In those who don't team kill cheaters, you are actively harming everybody else's experience. On Paladins, there were times where we had we had stacks, literal stacks of cheaters on our team. And a couple of these were off uh, off stream, but a couple of them were on stream. And I'd make fun of them, and I would not participate in the match. I would sit there, I wouldn't heal them, I'd heal everyone but them. You know, I would simply just not help them, because they were cheating. And then you have all these people out here going, These are the best settings for your Zim, these are the best uh, settings for your Cronus, or whatever the hell. Again. Play the game the way it was designed. Why are you sitting here being a loser-ass degenerate going, Oh, I'm gonna cheat today. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ruin the experience for the people who just got off an 8-hour shift uh, and just want to come home and chill, right? The people who took care of their responsibilities before they went to work and then they finally get to come home and chill. They just want to have fun. And no, they, they ain't allowed to do that. Nope. No siree. Or what about, the, uh, what about the guy who works, you know, 12, 14 hour shifts? He can't come home and enjoy a game that he paid his money for because someone decided to be a loser. And I think it is absurd. Even Twitch outclasses YouTube on this. You can't cheat on Twitch. If you stream yourself using cheats on Twitch, you get banned. But on YouTube, you can advertise your cheat program all you want. You can advertise your cheating device, your cheat program. No consequence will befall you. But oh man, you offend the wrong group of people? Ooh, your career is over, buddy. Same thing goes for Twitch. But at least with Twitch, you know, you can't stream yourself cheating. You can't advertise cheating and cheat devices. So at least Twitch one-ups you in that regard, YouTube. So, I just, again, can anybody in the comments here rationalize this for me, why people cheat? And I'm only going off a couple of games here, but let's take Valorant for instance. Let's take an example of a studio that does something right. Riot with Valorant. Guess what? Within one week of Valorant coming to console, there were already ban waves for mouse and keyboard players. Within a week, there were ban waves for mouse and key players on console. And mind you, on console we can't get the same anti-cheat that Valorant uses on PC to detect this kind of stuff. And they already had a ban wave, you know why? <clears throat> you know why? Because it's not hard to detect a mouse and keyboard adapter. Ubisoft doesn't want to ban the mouse and keyboard cheaters because they're the ones who spend all their money on the game. So, of course, Ubisoft aren't going to ban them, because all they care about is money. They don't care about if their game works, they don't care about the current state, they don't care about what their community is doing. They care about money. That's it. And, you know, I know. Shocker. 
company cares about money. You're not going to have revenue to care about with the uh, with the route you're going, Ubisoft. No one's going to stick around for this. You know, you've lost most of your OG players. Almost all of your OG players have quit the game. And with my recent retirement from Siege, you know, that's another OG player you've lost. I mean, I know people who stopped playing back in, I want to say it was like year 5. Year 5 is when your OG players started falling off. And the ones who are still sticking with Siege are the ones who are just hoping you guys can, you know, make the right choice. But we know you won't. The whole Scopus thing with the two robots, you've turned this from a tactical SWAT shooter into fucking ESG Pander Simulator, right? That's the best way I can describe it. It just, it feels so pandery. It's just, it's, it's ESG Call of Duty. That's pretty much all it is. It's, it's Call of Duty, but more woke. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, Ubisoft, but games that sit here and overly pander to the left and the woke side of the media don't do very well. So you're only digging your, you're, you're only digging your own hole here. Okay, Ubisoft? I'm just, it astounds me. It, it just it astounds me that there are people out here who legitimately think they are good for using a Zim. And it's even more shocking that, you know, Ubisoft won't do anything about these people. That Activision won't do anything about these people. It is cheating. It is 100% cheating. It is against the terms of service of both the game they are playing and the, uh, shit, and the platform they're playing on, right? On PlayStation, third-party cheat devices against the terms of service. Same thing with Xbox, right? It's against the terms of service that you agree to when you create your account. Guess what? They don't get banned for it. I can't blame Sony and Microsoft for this, however, because they're not the ones who are running the games. They are simply, they are simply the ones who authorize it to be on their platform. But you just think with mouse and key cheating being as big of an issue as it is, that, uh, you know, more would be done about it. I'm calling it a video here. I got a few things to do. I go to work here in a few hours, so I got shit to do. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.